Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're diving into the topic of professional attire for job interviews, specifically tailored to the Pakistani perspective. Now, you might be wondering, why does what I wear to a job interview matter? Well, it's quite simple. Your attire speaks volumes before you even utter a single word. It communicates your professionalism, your attention to detail, and your respect for the occasion. You see, job interviews are your first opportunity to make a positive impression on potential employers. The way you present yourself can either boost or hinder your chances of landing the job. It's not just about looking good, but also about demonstrating your understanding of the professional environment. Remember, you're not just representing yourself, but also the potential role you're going to fill. In the Pakistani context, choosing the right attire for a job interview becomes even more critical. It's not just about following Western professional attire norms, but also about respecting and incorporating local cultural sensitivities. This unique blend of East meets West adds another layer of complexity to the equation. So, what should you wear to a job interview in Pakistan? How can you strike the perfect balance between professionalism and cultural appropriateness? Well, the answers to these questions can vary greatly depending on your gender. Different rules and expectations apply to male and female candidates. Navigating these expectations can be tricky, but don't worry, we're here to help. In the following segments, we'll delve into the specifics of professional attire for both male and female candidates. We'll discuss everything from color choices to accessories, from traditional wear to Western suits, and from grooming standards to overall presentation. So, buckle up and get ready to learn how to dress for success. We're about to embark on a journey to decode the intricacies of professional attire for job interviews in the Pakistani context. Let's discuss the professional attire guidelines for both male and female candidates in Pakistan. Stay tuned and let's get started. First, let's talk about professional attire for male candidates in Pakistan. When you're preparing for a job interview, it's essential to put your best foot forward, and your attire plays a crucial role in this. Starting with suits, the perfect choice would be a well-fitted suit in dark hues. Navy, charcoal, or black are the go-to colors. You want to exude an air of professionalism and seriousness, and these colors will help you do just that. Remember, it's not just about wearing a suit, it's about wearing a suit that fits you well. Baggy or ill-fitted suits can come across as sloppy and lackadaisical. Next, let's move on to shirts and ties. Pair your suit with a crisp, light-colored dress shirt. White is a classic choice, but you could also opt for light blues or grays. When it comes to ties, lean towards the conservative side. Solid colors or subtle patterns are your best bet. Your tie is a small but significant part of your attire. It should complement your suit and shirt, not overpower them. Your shoes also play an important role. Closed toe dress shoes in black or brown are the way to go. Make sure they are polished and in good condition. Remember, the details matter. Now let's talk about grooming. It's not just about what you wear, but also about how you present yourself. Ensure your hair is well groomed, and if you have facial hair, it should be neatly trimmed. Good grooming reflects your attention to detail and personal discipline. Lastly, if you prefer traditional wear, you can opt for a well-fitted shalwar kameez or kurta. The key here is to ensure that it is neat, clean, and well ironed. Traditional wear can be a great way to showcase your cultural pride while maintaining a professional appearance. Grooming is also crucial, so ensure well-groomed hair and neatly trimmed facial hair if applicable. Your attire and grooming are significant factors in making a positive first impression. So remember to put thought and effort into dressing for your next job interview. Moving on to professional attire for female candidates in Pakistan, you have several options. Let's start with the traditional wear. A well-fitted shalwar kameez in high-quality fabric is an excellent choice. The color palette can range from neutral tones like beige, navy, or black, to pastel shades such as lavender, mint green, and baby pink. Remember, the idea is to look professional, not festive, so it's best to avoid overly bright or bold colors. The dupatta, an integral part of the shalwar kameez ensemble, should be draped conservatively. You can choose to wear it over your shoulders or across your chest, as long as it aligns with the overall modest look. Now, if you prefer Western wear, there are options for you as well. A suit, whether it's a pantsuit or a skirt suit, can be a strong contender. If you're not a suit person, a blouse paired with trousers or a knee-length skirt can work equally well. The key here is the fit. Make sure your outfit is neither too loose nor too tight. It should allow you to move comfortably and confidently. When it comes to accessories, less is more. 
A pair of simple earrings, a delicate necklace, or a classic wristwatch can add the right amount of elegance to your look. However, avoid anything too flashy or distracting. The focus should be on you and your capabilities, not your accessories. Lastly, let's talk about shoes. Closed toe heels or flats in neutral colors like black, beige, or brown are your best bet. They not only complete the outfit, but also maintain the professional tone of your appearance. Remember, comfort is crucial. If you're not comfortable in heels, opt for flats. There's nothing professional about struggling to walk in a pair of shoes. Accessorize with minimal and tasteful jewelry and opt for closed toe heels or flats in neutral colors. With these tips in mind, you're now ready to dress for success at your next job interview. Regardless of gender, it's essential to dress conservatively, maintaining cultural sensitivity and respecting local norms. Remember, your attire speaks volumes about your professionalism and respect for the interview process before you utter a single word. Let's start with personal grooming, an aspect often overlooked, yet it plays a crucial role in creating a polished appearance. For both men and women, ensure your hair is neat and clean. Men should have neatly trimmed facial hair, and women should opt for subtle, professional makeup. Your nails should be clean and well manicured. Good personal hygiene is non-negotiable, so make sure you smell fresh, but avoid overpowering perfumes or colognes that might distract or even irritate your interviewer. Moving on to comfort, it's of utmost importance. You might be in your interview outfit for several hours and discomfort can be distracting. Choose well-fitted clothes that allow for ease of movement. Ladies, if you're not comfortable in heels, opt for smart closed toe flats. Gentlemen, ensure your dress shoes are broken in and comfortable. Remember, discomfort can show on your face and might be mistaken for a lack of confidence or nervousness. Lastly, let's talk about accessories. It's easy to overdo it, but remember, less is more. Men should opt for a classic wristwatch and perhaps cufflinks if you're wearing a French cuff shirt. Women can accessorize with a simple pendant, stud earrings, and a professional wristwatch. Avoid flashy jewelry that might distract from the conversation. Your bag or briefcase should be clean and professional. It's also worth noting that your attire should reflect the job and company you're interviewing for. Research the company culture and dress accordingly. If you're unsure, it's better to overdress slightly than to underdress. By following these guidelines, you will not only make a positive impression, but also demonstrate respect for the cultural expectations in Pakistan. Remember, your attire is an extension of your personal brand, and dressing appropriately can set you up for success. So put your best foot forward and make that first impression count. Thank you for tuning into today's discussion on professional attire for job interviews in the Pakistani context. We've covered some crucial ground here, from the importance of dressing appropriately to the specific guidelines for both male and female candidates. Remember, your attire is the first impression you make, even before you've uttered a single word. So it pays to invest some thought and effort into it. For the gentleman, the choice between a well-fitted suit or traditional wear like a shalwar kameez or kurta depends on the job you're applying for and the company culture. But whatever you choose, ensure it's clean, crisp, and conservative. And for the ladies, whether you opt for a suit, a blouse with trousers or a skirt, or a tastefully chosen shalwar kameez, remember to keep it modest and professional. Your attire should communicate your respect for the occasion and the company. But it's not just about clothes. Grooming and personal hygiene are equally essential, as is your comfort. After all, an uncomfortable outfit can become a distraction, and you want your focus to be on acing the interview, not adjusting your attire. So, as you prepare for your next job interview, remember these guidelines. Dressing appropriately, according to Pakistani professional norms, will not only help you make a positive first impression, but also demonstrate your cultural awareness and respect. If you found this discussion helpful, I encourage you to like this video and share it with others who might benefit from it. And if you haven't already, do subscribe to my channel for more insights into professional development and workplace etiquette tailored for the Pakistani context. Until next time, take care and best of luck with your future interviews. This is Dr. Seyma Zia signing off. Now that we've covered professional attire, let's move on to mastering the art of job interviews. The first step towards acing any interview is preparation and research. You should know the company's background, its values, and the role you're applying for. Understand what skills and experiences the company values and prepare examples of how you've demonstrated these in the past. 
This will help you answer common interview questions such as, tell me about yourself, why should we hire you, or describe a situation where you faced a challenge and how you overcame it. Remember, every question is an opportunity to showcase your skills and suitability for the role. So, carefully consider your answers and try to align them with the job requirements. Additionally, be prepared with some questions of your own. This not only shows your interest in the role, but also gives you a chance to evaluate if the company is the right fit for you. The next crucial aspect of any job interview is body language and communication skills. Your posture, eye contact, and gestures can speak volumes about your confidence and professionalism. So, maintain a positive and open body language, make eye contact, and articulate your thoughts clearly and concisely. Mastering the art of job interviews is just as important as dressing appropriately. So, stay tuned for more tips and tricks on acing your next job interview. In our upcoming videos, we will dive deeper into each of these aspects, providing you with practical advice and examples to help you nail your next interview. Until then, keep practicing and remember, preparation is key. This is Dr. Sema Zia, wishing you the best of luck on your job hunt journey. Before we wrap up this video, I hope you found our discussion on professional attire and mastering the art of job interviews helpful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Your support means a lot to us. For more content like this, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. This way, you'll be the first to know when we release new videos. We are always looking for ways to improve our content and cater to your needs better. So, if you have any suggestions or topics you'd like us to cover in future videos, please drop them in the comment section below. Your feedback is invaluable to us. Also, we'd love to hear about your experiences with job interviews. What strategies worked for you? What challenges did you face? And how did you overcome them? Sharing your stories can help others who are on the same journey. Plus, it can give us insight into what additional content might be helpful to you. This is Dr. Samazia, signing off for now. Remember to like, subscribe and comment, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, keep practicing, stay positive, and good luck on your job hunt journey. Before we end this video, let's take a moment to interact. If you found our discussion on professional attire for job interviews insightful and helpful, don't forget to hit the like button. Your support means a lot to us. We want to make this channel a community where we can all learn, grow, and succeed together. So we'd love to hear your thoughts on this video. Did you find it helpful? Do you have a different perspective to share? Or perhaps you have some tips and tricks of your own that you'd like to share with the community? Feel free to leave your comments below. Also, we are always looking for new topics to cover that can help you in your professional journey. So, if you have any ideas or suggestions for future videos, or if there's a specific topic you'd want us to cover, do let us know in the comments section. Your feedback is invaluable in making our content more relevant and useful to you. And lastly, if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to our channel and ring the notification bell. This way, you'll be the first to know when we post new videos. This is Dr. Sema Zia, signing off for now. Remember to keep practicing, stay positive, and best of luck on your job hunt journey. Until next time, like, subscribe, and comment, and see you in the next video.